Alright, let's get into it. Hey yo, what the f Hey yo, what's going on? How you guys doing? My name is Hero. Now you guys left me a lot of comments and I've had so much fun. I'd first and foremost like to thank all of you guys that decided to engage with me. Believe it or not, I have tons of experience debating people like this. <laughs> Because I also had a political channel where I talked about politics during Trump's election. So you can imagine, I'm battle tested and ready. I don't know, you guys are weak sauce. Gamers, gamers don't really come with that heat. They're not well read. I, I like an educated bigot. You guys aren't well read. <laughs> but one constant thing I kept hearing is, if you go woke, you go broke. And it reminds me of things that people used to say during the election you know you go woke you go broke like because target decided to start selling rainbow clothing target didn't go broke target is everywhere literally you can hit them on every corner but the 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 the, the saying was oh assassin creed is going woke they're gonna go broke and you know what i disagree now, let's see how many of you guys will disagree with me in a little bit of facts. Hmm? Assassin's Creed Shadow pre-orders strong despite protagonist controversy report. Assassin's Creed has run into a bizarre controversy surrounding its protagonist, Yasuke. A small corner of the internet <laughs> contends Yasuke's status as a samurai and accused Ubisoft of misrepresentation in a series that was never historically accurate to begin with. Unsurprisingly, none of this kerfuffle, that's a great word, seems to have impacted pre-orders for the game. Looks set to sell gangbusters regardless of protagonist discourse. Reliable insider Tom Henderson, oh, isn't that the owner of um, Insider Insider Gaming? Has apparently received word from his source at Ubisoft with AC Shadows, pre-orders are looking strong and no one he has spoken to appears to be disappointed by them. News sites, Spino, Times, also noted AC Shadows instantly became one of the most pre-ordered games on Amazon in multiple regions, including Japan, where it climbed to the top spot. Oh no. Clap it up. <laughs> I can hear it now. All the, all the, the, the white saviors of the Japanese people in my comment section saying garbage like this. What about the Japanese people who deserve respect? It's their culture. They, lo they're loving this. An AC game in feudal Japan with a historically, the first historical accurate MC. They're loving this. Here's a tweet from Tom Henderson. Assassin's Creed Shadow pre-orders are looking very strong. I don't have an exact number yet, but no one in the know is disappointed about them. Interesting. Final time, so here we go with some numbers because because facts don't care about your feelings. That I'll give you the first one. Tom Henderson's tweet, no numbers. Hard to bite. If you don't trust that, I I, I hear you. But what you gonna do about this, hater? Hmm? Hmm? Assassin's Creed Shadows. Number one on Amazon Japan. PlayStation 5 bestseller. Clap it up. Throw a dynamite in there. Throw a dynamite in there. Fuck it. Throw some bombs in that bitch. Alright, alright, alright. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> These people were so mad. Number six. Amazon USA. Wait a minute. Number six? Number six? Either, either you crybabies are secretly buying this game but complaining about it in these streets, or you are part of a vocal minority. Either there's a gangbuster of you guys buying this game. I haven't even had a chance to pre-order it. Some of y'all have pre-ordered this game and talked shit in my comment section. Mathematically speaking, one of y'all have done it. But y'all are not even significant enough to do anything. Hmm. It's almost as if a bunch of downvotes on a bunch of videos aren't facts. They're not the truth. 
shit, anyone can buy a bunch of bots and download a video. Hmm, it's starting to make it's starting to make sense why the down vote down thumbs down button was removed because of people like you. England or is that the UK? I never know these days. Are they one and the same? Who cares? The queen is dead. Number one on Amazon. I know that's Germany. Oh, wait, it says UK on the side. <laughs> Germany, number one. Number two in France. This one strikes me as odd. Well, France is always protesting something or having a, putting poop on their, on the, on the Macron's uh, front lawn for some nonsense that he's doing. None of this is even remotely surprising for several reasons. For starters, most people buy games irrespective of social media meltdowns and aren't terminally online. Oh my goodness, the amount of you guys that need to log off and touch grass, tragic. As seen in the case of Hogwarts Legacy, perfect example. Secondly, Japan has been one of the most requested settings for an Assassin's Creed game and fans are finally getting what they want. And I want you guys to think about this. They have learned a lot through the past seven or eight games, mainline games, and a bunch of their subsidiary games. There are so many first coming to this game. If you don't play this game, you are literally going to be missing out on a lot of groundbreaking things. I think they're going to push the limit of Assassin's Creed. It's on a new on a new engine. It's going to be with new characters. You can go prone. You'll have daggers. You'll have physics based webs. Uh, web. I mean, how would I say web slinging? Um, a grapple hook. Like you will miss out on a legendary experience and i think is in large part because you don't want to admit that maybe you overreacted because no matter if this game is good or bad no matter if yasuke is this is the new thing they're saying yasuke might be gay so enjoy that i wasn't this isn't going to affect me you guys realize that i might look like yasuke but i'm not him <laughs> Him being gay is not going to change or affect the way I play the game. Assassin's Creed Shadow will release November 15 on current gen platforms only. So, my thoughts on this. To be quite frank, I expect a few more haters to come back, speak their truth, uh, speak their hate, and let them do the story. But um, the facts don't lie. All I think what they're saying is true. You guys are a vocal minority. You guys live and die in these little echo chambers and then eventually one of my videos will come across your screen and you can't handle it but i think that you guys are just really good at your messaging because i'm not gonna lie a lot of you guys sound the same in fact there's so many comments that literally iterate the same thing i can't help but think that you all got it from this one reddit message board um the problem that you guys are going to run into at least with me is there's not enough of you to actually skew it. Thanks to that last video, I got 200 plus new subscribers. More people loved that video and praised me for it than people that hated on me. So I'm gonna give the algorithm what it wants. And in turn, I get to also dunk on a bunch of crybaby, neck beard, limp dick mother lovers. Because I want you to know, if you think, no, I, <laughs> if you think, Anything you say in a comment section is going to do anything other than bring me more content, more engagement, and keep me living rent free in your mind. I'm sorry to tell you, I don't even know who you are. The name of my channel is Coding with Strangers. I talk to strangers for a living. And when I turn this camera off, I don't think about strangers. I think about what I'm gonna do with my life. And I like to make sure that you're not wasting your time writing junk in my comment section. It's only gonna be used to fuel my laughter and keep you up late at night. I mean, seriously, I literally have a bot that just runs and responds to all those hate messages with one of three random messages I presented. So a lot of you guys are wasting your time, but I'm just gonna to continue to farm you guys for free exposure. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know if you hate your job, you hate your life, your girlfriend, boyfriend, mom, mom's not in your, mom never hugged you, your dad bullied you too much. I don't know. But 
whatever it is, you got to get that hate out your heart. It's literally making you age horribly. All right. I'm worried about you guys. I, I really am worried about you, but I can only save my patience. And if you want to be one of them, clap it. All you got to do is like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit up the Patreon. Subscribe to the YouTube. Twitch. I love to see those donations. I appreciate it.